So welcome back to the next class. So in our last class, we looked at the 4A with respective converts. So in this class, we'll be taking two parts. As we plan for 2022, we need to look at what is your central vision for 2022. So we'll be using two converses. First, we will be using the four quarter canvas. We would also be using the 12 month canvas. Now, however, before we start trying to plan out 2022 for our business, the question is, what is the vision for your business in 2022? So I will give an example. Let's assume I say in 2022, my vision is to have a revenue of 24 million naira. This is the vision. And let's assume that what I sell is tomatoes. So I want to sell tomatoes to get a revenue of 24 million naira in 2022. Before I start inputting this into my canvas, I need to first develop what we call an OKR. That simply means objective key results. So objectives, key results. So we'll start first with our OKR. So the O, like we said, is your objective. So to make my 24 million naira, the first objective I am going to have is not making revenue of 24. 24 million naira is the end goal. That is where I want to end. But there are things that should be in place to make the 24 million naira. So my key objective number one is I should have tomatoes to sell. That is objective one. Now, for me to achieve this objective one, there are some key results I must put in place. So, for example, my key result number one might be that I should have a farm, have my farm produce, for example, let's say, 10 kilograms of tomatoes daily. That could be my key result number one. So if I can get my farm to produce 10 kg of tomatoes, I know that there is a probability that I can make some money. Two, my second key result could be have access to 10 farms producing 10 kg of tomatoes daily. So first, I have my own farm. Second key result is I have um, 10 farms producing 10 kg. But to be sure that what I am calculating is correct, remember that the goal is to make 24 million naira. Now, if I assume that I sell my tomatoes at 500 naira per kilo, as an example, I need to know how many kilo of tomatoes would give me 24 million naira? So I do my calculation of 24M divided by 500 naira. So 24 million divided by 500. I have about, if my math is correct, 48,000 kilo of tomatoes. Now, if I divide this by 52, assuming 52 weeks in a year, I have 52 kilo of tomatoes. Well, did I do that right? Sorry, 48,000 divided by 52. Sorry, I have 923 kilo of tomatoes. Now, so let's come back so this key result will make sense. So let's say my own farm produces 100 kilo weekly, uh, weekly. No, I think we put 10 before. So let's leave it at 10. My farm produces 10 kilogram daily. I have 10 farms that produces 10 kilogram daily. Now, if I collect from them about, let's say, six days out of seven days a week, this would give me 600, this would give me 700, so no. So you notice that from my key results to achieve this, I'm realizing that the number of farms are not enough. So if I turn this to, let's say, 20 farms, that would give me 200 
tomato spread D times 6, that is 1002, plus my own farm of 1010, that gives me plus 60, that is 1260 kilo every week. Meanwhile, all I need is 923 kilo every week. So now I have gotten my first objective. So if I am going to achieve 24 million naira at the end of the year, I must ensure my farm is producing 10 kilogram of tomatoes per day, number one. Number two, I have 20 farms that would give me 10 kilogram of tomatoes daily. These are the first two criteria or key results to meet objective one of having tomatoes to sell. But that is not enough. I will still probably need to have objective two, have logistics to send tomatoes to me. So I should have logistics to collect the tomatoes from these 20 farms to where I am. Now for this to be possible, maybe key result one is there should be close proximity between farmers. Maybe key result two is farmers should grow similar or same varieties. Then maybe our number three, key result three, farmers should have maybe drop off point per cluster of five. So remember, we are working with 20 farms. So what I want to do is first, there should be close proximity amongst the farmers. Two, the farmers should have similar variety or same variety of tomatoes they are all growing. Number three is the farmer should have drop off point. So per cluster of five. So what I'm saying is, since I'm working with 20 farmers, my driver or whomever is working for my logistics only needs to go to four different spots to pick up the daily tomatoes that I need and send to me. So this is objective two. Objective three, for me to still make what I want to make is maybe I need to have, um, uh, maybe have um, sales day or period slash time. So the key result is have customers who buys at XX time. Then maybe key result three, have um, a platform to receive or collate orders and so on and so forth. Now you realize that because I have my objectives well laid out, my key result for every objective well laid out, by the time I now come to my objective, maybe five or objective 10 and say, make a revenue of 24 million naira, maybe key result, sell X, Y amount of tomatoes weekly, deliver to this kind of category weekly and so on and so forth. It is easier now to meet objective 10 because my objectives one through nine has ensured that 10 is not just a dream in the air or it's not just me having building castles in the air, just having visions that are not realistic. This is your OKR. Now, when you have written out these objectives of this is what I want to achieve, these are the key results that would help me achieve this. Next is to put in what we call KPIs, key performance indices. What are the key things that would help me know that all of these objectives have been met? What are the key performance indices? What are the things that I will use to say, okay, 10 kilograms of tomatoes daily, this can be achieved. What is the indices? Is it that I have 80 plants on the farm or 100 plants on the farm or I have nutrients available or I have the right stuff? What is the indices that I'm going to use to measure that these 20 farms can give me 10 kilograms daily unfailingly? Or would it be better that I say rather than 10 kilograms daily, 
let me tell these farmers to give me 100 kilo per week maybe every monday or every tuesday so what are the key performance indices that would help ensure that all of these objectives and key results are being met or what are the things i put in place to let me know quickly before things go haywire now once you have done that you can now draw what we call the four quarter canvas the four quarter canvas so the four quarter canvas is simply like a four quadrant just a four quadrant you have your q1 your q2 your q3 your q4 this is january february march april to june i think july august to september then october to december what are the key things i want to achieve in the first quadrant as it relates to my organizational goal which is 24 million naira what are the key things i want to achieve in the first quadrant am i saying okay in my first quadrant i want to divide this money by four and put in each quadrant equal amount of money or am i saying oh because i know january february march the price of tomatoes is just trying to come up rather than use this time to make money i want to use this time to set up farms and have a lot, a lot of farms in place so that i start selling between april may june is that what i want to do so what are the key things i want to achieve in every of these quadrants is it to sell oh maybe 1000 kilo of tomatoes or set up a hundred thousand um what's it called tomato plant stand what are the key things i want to achieve in all of these quadrants or in all of these uh, quarters as it relates to the revenue that we have set as a goal is it that i want to increase my customer base is it that i want to increase those uh, individual buyers and reduce uh, bulk buyers or do I want to have increased bulk buyers and reduced individual buyers? What are the things I want to put in place or what are the things I want to achieve in each of these quadrants or each of this quarter? This is the first step. Now, when you, when you are done with this, you now go ahead and draw the 12 month canvas. So again, if you go to the link already supplied, you will see a canvas already prepared for you that is easy for you to impute anything you want to impute. So you have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So based on these four month quadrants or these four quarter quadrants, come to the 12 month quadrant and write out what are the things you hope to achieve every month. Again, remember, whatever you are writing to achieve every month, it must relate to your organizational goal or vision that we set at the beginning. And remember that for this example, the vision we set is 24 million naira as revenue at the end of the year. Now, based on that, you now start looking at what must we do in January, February, March, so on and so forth till December to achieve our organizational goal. I hope this makes sense. So in the next class, we will take a look at another kind of canvas. Now, it's important I state that depending on where you are in your organization, you may not need all the canvases we will look at. But like I said before, the purpose of putting all the canvases in December is for us to be able to plan effectively for 2022. Thank you.